and followed through five years in a row with that. So along with being a number cruncher and a finance guy, I'd also like to think that I am the best friend of the student when it comes to academic achievement and of the teachers. It's so important that our teachers, we maintain a high quality of staff uh, and that we, we pay our teachers and pay them to where we continue the good job that they've done. It's important to note that the Washington School District has the highest paid teachers on the average. There are certain pockets throughout the schedule that some of them may not be paid as well. But the highest paid teachers in the district are in the Washington School District. Along with that, the most highly educated instructor, our instructional staff is the Washington School District. When you compare us to the other districts surrounding our district, it's interesting to note some of the statistical facts of the Washington School District. We have slightly over 4,000 students in the Washington School District. We have over 600 employees in the Washington School District. We have a budget of nearly $45 million. It's second only to the Franklin County budget. It's a budget that is nearly twice the dollar amount of the city of Washington. It's also interesting to note that the Washington School District encompasses three counties. We go as far as St. Charles, up to Tree Lord, to the city limits of New Haven, to the city limits of Union, and then down to the Villa Ridge area. Lavity and St. Albans is also part of our, our district. We have two, 10 schools in the, in the district. Um, we have a drop, a, a graduation rate of 80, 87%. We have the highest graduation rate in um, 
Franklin County. There's been times that because I hit and get hard on the numbers and I ask the difficult questions, I have been labeled by some of my fellow board members as being anti-education. By the way, two of them sitting here are two of them. I think they'll very much disagree with that. Uh, to say a little bit about that, my father-in-law was a superintendent of school. My mother-in-law was a teacher. My grandmother was a teacher. I have three brother-in-laws who were teachers and one sister-in-law that was a teacher. If you think that anti-education from this guy at the Thanksgiving table is part of the program, <laughs> I've got news for you. That's not at all the case. I don't know much more about what I might say to you uh, other than I would like the opportunity later to ask any questions if anyone might care. And uh, again, thank you. It's a warm feeling to be here with a bunch of fiscal conservatives as I am myself. Thank you very much.